Hey guys, what's up? Corbin to conform.us and today's video is on the Wednesday, October 20th Apple Media event. Now there are tons of rumors I want to go over for this event, but firstly I just want to tell you the time of the event and where and when you're going to be able to get live updates. Now you're going to be able to get live updates from Mac rumors and Gadget. I don't believe Gizmodo because of the whole iPhone 4 thing. Now, you're going to be able to get live updates from a bunch of sites and Apple has not released confirmation or any information on if they are streaming the event live like they did the other past two events. I personally hope they are streaming the event live because that, that really brings you personally into the product introduction and I think that'd be really cool. Uh, in the past they've always just done pictures and stuff, they have not done anything from the event themselves other than the last event so we'll have to see but I really hope they stream it. It will start at 10 a.m. Pacific time and 1 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in another country, you just gotta figure it out on your own. Sorry, I can't look at all time scales around the world. So getting into the rumors of the event itself, there's, there's a big deal of stuff going on here. We're gonna see probably new MacBook Airs, OS 10.7, uh, maybe some updates to the MacBook Pro 13 inch, nothing major. MacBook Air, I think there's some new rumors going around, Mac rumors and some other blogs, that we might see a 11.6 inch MacBook Air. That would really bring it down a little bit closer to the iPad and really bring what everything's missing from the iPad to make it a really huge netbook competitor and bring it to the MacBook Air and be super, super thin. Also, we'd probably see spec upgrades, maybe a Core 2 Duo or a Core i3 inside the MacBook Air. If they were to update the MacBook Pro 13 inch, they would probably put an i3 in it and Core i3 chip, uh, just just because it's a little more with the time. Uh, Core 2 Duos are kind of fading out and they're getting a little old. So as you can see by the media event logo per se, peak image, there is a tiger hiding behind the Apple logo. Now that leads a lot of people to believe, thousands and tens of thousands of people to believe that they will be releasing 10.7 or at least announcing 10.7 Tiger and that is what people think the next version of OS X will be called. I personally hope they do. I think it's time for a huge unveiling of OS X. OS X needs some improvements. They have some little things that they don't have that Windows has but o overall I believe OS X is a more stable operating system. Any updates to the iPads I don't think we'll see. iPod updates we won't see. iPhone updates we won't see but I, I, don't, I don't think there's going to be anything about the iPhone or iPods or iPad. They want to keep it all Mac related, hence the name, Back to Mac. So, those are my news, rumors, all my thoughts and opinions on the event. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, there's really only so much I can say about it, and we'll just have to wait and see what they do. So, thanks guys. Follow me on Twitter for exclusive content, twitter.com forward slash colt4595, and subscribe to you on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash colt4595. Thanks guys, see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.